Hi, Elementary D. Oh, I miss you guys so, so, so much. Today I'm going to explain to you what you're going to be doing for today's work. So first, let me just say something. This is going to be so cool because you guys don't actually have to turn in anything to me. So you're not turning in homework, you're not sending me an email, no pictures, nothing. You're going to send me everything when you're done on Friday. So for Wednesday, you have no work to send me. But your board work for today, you can see up here on the top where it says Wednesday, March 25th. It is in purple, so as you guys know, that means you need to copy it into your notebook and copy it correctly, okay? I've spelled it out for you so you know what you need to do. Your board work is a hypothesis. You guys all know what that word means. It's what you think is going to happen. So you're going to write down what do you think will happen when you put water in a cup or a can or a bottle, really anything you have in your house, and then you freeze it. What do you think would happen? We've already been seeing what happens when we freeze water, how that can affect rocks and weathering and erosion and all of these things. So you are going to write one sentence telling me what you think will happen if you freeze water in the freezer, if you freeze some water, if you turn a liquid to a solid, okay? So write one sentence about that. Then after you're done with your board work, you're going to move on to your individual work, which is going to be like a mini experiment that you get to do in your house. So this is why you're not sending me any emails, no pictures of your work, because you're going to send it all to me on Friday when we're done. So what you're going to do is you're going to find something in your house that you can put in the freezer. But I am going to put, as you see right here, do not use glass, okay? So, whoopsies. You can do plastic, um, it can be a water bottle, it can be um, a bowl, I don't know, anything that your parents will let you use to freeze some water. You're going to fill it with water, it doesn't have to be all the way, so for example, I'm going to do it too. I have this Powerade bottle that has water in it to about here, okay, so you don't have to fill it all the way, um, but you do need to fill it with water. Start with water, obviously it's not frozen, it's just plain water, it's a liquid. Then you're going to measure it. So I have my water right here. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take either my notebook or a piece of paper or something and measure. <laughs> you guys can't see that. <laughs> um, there we go. Measure how high the water is. Okay. So I'm going to put it right next to my bottle and I'm going to measure with a little line how high the water is. Okay. So all I did was just draw this little tiny line on my paper because this is how high the water is. So I'm going to label it as water as a liquid. Okay? So you can see right here I put water as a liquid. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but I think you understand it's pretty simple, okay? So I just measured how tall the water was using a piece of paper. You guys can use your notebooks, a piece of paper, whatever you have at home. And then you're going to put it in the freezer. So the next day when it's frozen, you're going to take it out, make sure you have your same paper or your notebook, and then you're going to measure it again. So you're going to put it back up just like this, and you're going to draw a new line to where the water is frozen. And then we will talk more about what we're going to do on Friday. Okay, so this is all you have to do for your work for Wednesday. Basically, you're just freezing some water. Okay, you're going to show me what happens, you're going to take the two measurements, the measurement before and the measurement after, and you're going to do your board work, your hypothesis, what do you think is going to happen? So those two things, um, look really carefully down here, you do not need to send an email for this day, okay? <laughs> you don't have to. Um, I trust all of you that you're going to do this, and then when we meet again on Friday, that's when you're going to send me the evidence of your work, okay? You're going to send me your board works for Wednesday and Friday and um, kind of what you got out of the experiment and how that relates to what we're learning in class about rocks and weathering and erosion. So you do not need to send me an email for Wednesday. Okay, You just need to follow the directions here. I trust that all of you will do it. And then we will meet again on Friday for your next class. I miss you guys so, 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 so much. I cannot wait until I see you guys again, and we can do real experiments in class together. But this is your work for Wednesday. So if you have any questions, then, of course, send me an email, and I will be willing to answer those. Um, try not to send me messages over LearnBox, because 
I'm getting so many messages and I can't answer them all. You can't add attachments correctly. So have your parents send me an email over the ticket system um, and then I can answer you that way. Have a great Wednesday and I will see you guys on Friday.